This is our 2001 Corolla. That and I are going to change this wheelbarrow. First, pull off the cover. Then, remove this cotter pin. Straighten the end of the cotter pin, then pull it out. Remove the axle nut cover. Now loosen the axle nut. Loosen the lug nut. Now this is, we're going to lift the car. Put jack stands under the car. Lower the jack and push on the car to make sure it won't fall. Remove the lug nuts. Fourth one, as compared to remove the tire. Now remove the axle nut. Remove this brake hose clamp. Use a 13 millimeter socket. Now remove these two bolts. You'll need a 17 millimeter socket. Ask a parent to remove the brake caliper and tie it to the strut. Ask a parent to remove the brake loader. You'll need a sledgehammer with a front hub puller. Get out the front hub puller. Put it on the wheel hub. Secure it with the lug nuts. Surprise, it doesn't fit! Have your dad needs Dremel to cut a number 12 lock washer into a C shape. Put five lock washers on each side. Now the hub bolts will fit. Screw in the slide hammer. Put something soft under the hub to catch it when it falls. It may take a lot of blows to remove the hub. The inner race will come out with a hub. Some people say to cut a notch in the race. And use a chisel to break it open. But Dad won't let me use rotary cutting tools. Instead, set up the slide hammer like this. Screw on a nut, then a comb, then the three jaw assembly. Close the jaws and then move up the comb. Attach the slide hammer to the bottom of the race like this. The jaws might slip off the first few times, but that's okay. Eventually, it will come off. Now get your 17 millimeter socket. Use it to remove these two nuts and this bolt. Ooh, where did it go? Have a parent push down on the control arm and then pull the knuckle free. Now pull the knuckle free from the CV axle shaft. The other race to just fall right off. We found a bad spot on the bearing. If this seal doesn't come off with the hub, use a flat hood screwdriver and hammer to tap it up. Now we can pull the bearing right out. Tap out the inside seal. This is what the bearing seals look like when they come out. Push out the other side of Bob Marie's. Remove this black fabric. One of your parents will have to do it. Story time! Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Phoenix. He was trying to move in a round race. He asked for help, but when no one came, he was lucky for two holes. Front wheel drive, wheel bearing replacement, the doctor said. He opened the kit and tried a whole bunch of different sizes to This bearing plate is too big. This bearing push plate is too small. This bearing push plate is just right. This bearing cup is way too big. This bearing cup is too small. This bearing cup is just right. This cup lid is too big. This cup lid is just right. Then he took the four thing screw and he added a washer. Then the cup lid. And the cup. And put them on the back side of the knuckle. Then he added the enforcing plate on the front. Another washer. And the two-inch nut. 
to make sure the cup was centered on the back of the knuckle. Then he got a breaker bar with a 28mm socket and a breaker bar with a 32mm socket. And he set them on like this. He squeezed at the inner race. He turned, he turned, and turned, and he turned. Until... And he lived happily ever after. The end! Choose a burning pusher that just fits inside the knuckle. Choose a cup lid that just covers the outer hole. Assemble the burning pusher like this. First add a washer, then the burning cup lid. Feed it through the knuckle. Add the new burning to the other side. Add the burning pusher. Add another washer. Screw on the two inch mat. Now we're ready to push in the new burning. Stop turning when the bearing is fully seated. Have a pair and put the stuffing back in. Gently press in the bearing seal. He assembled the bearing pressure. I'm pretty sure you can guess what comes next. Choose a bearing pressure that fits on the outermost lip. Gently push in the outer seal the same way you did the inner seal. Reassemble the burning pressure. And Can you guess what we're supposed to do next? Be careful! Pack the space between the bearing and the bearing seal with bearing grease. Find a bearing pushy that just fits inside the bearing seal. Remove the plastic keeper from inside the new bearing. It's there to keep the new bearing from falling apart. Assemble the bearing pressure again. Slide it through the rear of the knuckle. Then put on the hub and the bearing pressure. The washer and the two inch nut. Make sure the hub is square with the knuckle. Guess what time it is? You only need to press it in far enough that these threads will stick out of the hub. Ask your parent to put the knuckle back on the CV axle. Here are the threads sticking through. Put the hub nut back on. I need a long breaker bar and something to hold the hub still. Stop turning when it gets hard. We'll use a torque wrench later. Have a parent put the knuckle back on the controller. Put back the control arm bolt. Use a 17 millimeter socket to put it in. Add the two nuts. Have a parent put the brake rotor back on. Abracadabra! Hold it on with a lug nut temporarily. Ask a parent to put the brake caliper back on. Put the caliper bolt back in. Don't forget to remove the string from the caliper. Put the brake hose clamp back. And put its bolt back in. Now we need to properly torque all the bolts. You can get the right torque values from this page in the service manual. Torque these fasteners to 105 foot-pounds. Next we'll do the brake caliper bolts. Torque them to 65 foot-pounds. Then the brake hose clamp to 22 foot-pounds. Have a parent put the tire back on now. Put the lug nuts back on. Time to lower the cup. Now torque the hub bolt. 166 foot pounds. Put the hub nut cover back on. Put the cotter pin back in. When I increase cooling work, don't reuse the old cotter pin. Last, the lug nuts for 76 foot pounds. Don't forget the hot cover. 
It's been a year since Dad and I fixed the wheel bearing. I hope you learned some things and maybe even saved some money. Click here if you'd like to donate to my education fund. Until our next video, aloha!